Before I start this video, I just want to give a shout out to the people who do this. Hmm. They watch all my videos on a device or something. I know they're not really watching my videos, but they probably have a device or something that has all my videos playing on cue. Unless you're actually watching them all, then a hey, that's kind of cool, but I doubt it. And it's awesome because it helps my videos with my view duration and my watch time hours as well, which is the most important thing for me right now. Anyways boys, today we're making a different kind of video, hopefully a longer video so I can get more watch time hours like I said, only this time it's not even about Rise of Kingdoms, no it's about my YouTube channel that's about Rise of Kingdoms. And so we'll be going over my channel's stats and what I've learned along the way in terms of editing and kind of what my journey has been up until this point because I know a lot of y'all are nosy and I don't mind laying it all out for you guys and I'm nosy too and I always wish that people were a little bit more transparent but whatever. And I'll edit in the timestamps on the video of the topics I go over because I'll talk about how and when I started YouTube, the stats in my videos, my thought process when I'm making the videos, and how it's going, and what my goals are, and how you guys can help me. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So I posted my first video on January 3rd of 2023, so my channel has been around for a year and three months at the time of this recording. And my first three videos were complete failures. They don't even make it to 200 views today, and they're my oldest videos, but they were videos of me doing stuff like Hunt for History or Sargon Wheels, and I just had non-copyrighted music playing in the background. And those videos took me hours to make just trying to make the music blend and sound decent, and I was so proud of them, of how I made them sound because I had no experience, and they were my first videos ever. But yeah, they completely failed, and I was already going to quit three videos in. But then a guy named Taser told me to talk through my videos instead, and that's something people would rather see, he said. And now, I'm in a kingdom with this guy right now, by the way. I followed him here. He's one of the kings. Anyways, he told me to talk over my videos, right? And so then I was like, whoa, dude. That would change the whole dynamic of what I wanted to do with this channel. And no one wants to hear me talk anyways, and I don't want to talk either. Well, long story short, I came up with this idea to review my own account because I have no shames in the decisions that I make and I had no one else's account to review because I had no friends. And so I posted a video of me reviewing my own account, obviously talking through the whole thing as Taser said. And the thumbnail for that video, I got it from Shinchi42 I think. I got the idea from a thumbnail of his, only difference is I used my city instead. And that thumbnail is so basic, but I kid you not, it took me like 5 hours to make that thumbnail for free, because I never knew how to photoshop or edit anything, especially finding a way to do it for free. But I ended up using the free version of photoshop, and still, that took me a long time, but I ended up figuring it out. And I was like, whoa, Taser was right! And that's how I learned that the possibility for people to watch my videos was there. I just have to be able to learn and keep going. And so that's how I got started, right? And after that, I started making more videos, and those were getting me like three to 5,000 views, and I was like, this is great, man. I can totally get monetized soon, and then I realized that I needed like 4,000 hours of watch time hours, blah blah blah. Basically, I got discouraged because I felt like I was doing so well, but I also felt like I was also going to be doing all of this for nothing if I could never reach my goal. And I just got it into my head because I overthought it, and I wasn't ready to work for it if I'm being honest. Either way, I still continued, but the rate of my videos slowed down dramatically. But honestly, looking back, what was I thinking? Some of my videos were doing great in comparison to my channel today in general, but I was also moving places in real life and stuff like that, so understandably, I was very busy. And so then, I just really stopped posting. I posted two videos on this month, and then I posted another video in that month, and then it took three months for me to post again, and so that leads us into now. In this time, I started posting videos again, which has been like two months now. Okay, so this is the portion of the video where now we go into the stats for the videos of when I started again, which is two months ago up until today. Just know that I play the game on mobile and I record and edit on the same phone. Only thing is now I have two phones, so I have my script on one phone and then I do everything else on the other phone, which is my everyday phone. Bummer, I know. Let's not talk about it. So the stats, yes. So these videos were posted almost two months ago, and the first video has less than a thousand views, 6.4 CTR, which is a click-through rate, meaning the ratio on how many people see my title and thumbnail and choose to click on it compared to how many people keep scrolling. And then the view duration for the video is 2 minutes and 29 seconds, while the video is about 8 minutes long, with an audience retention of 31%, which means 31% of the viewers finish the video, which is low, and I noticed that once my videos hit around 48% audience retention, that's when YouTube stops promoting my video. 
Okay, so now that I explained that, I can go through these a lot faster now. The next video made it to 1,200 views with a CTR of 6.1% and a view duration of 2 minutes and 14 seconds. And this video was also about 8 minutes long with a 28% audience retention. So these two videos were me recording off my phone and in my car and trying to do it all in one go just to edit it as little as possible and the sound quality and everything in general was horrible but I just wanted to see if I could make videos again and seeing people come by and stop by my video actually gave me hope and so I decided to continue again. And also I enjoy making videos a lot more than I did in the past and I'm okay with working towards getting monetized now. After those two videos, I posted a video of me explaining why I became an infantry main, and it was here that I discovered another free editing app called PixArt, and it's still what I use today for my thumbnails now, and I do most of my editing on there, which is like pictures and stuff. Anyways, it was through that app that I learned how to edit pictures a lot more efficiently, as well as finally being able to do different styles of words for my thumbnails, which would always bother me so much, and as you can see in bold red letters how I was able to put big mistake on that thumbnail, I knew that if I made it look like I regretted being an infantry main that people would click on the video more and I was just so happy that I could put it in big bold red letters for the thumbnail and that video grew fast and it hit like 2,000 views fast and so the stats are now 2.3 thousand views with a CTR of 7.6% and an average view duration of 1 minute and 57 seconds. This one had an audience retention of 45%. I believe the audience retention and the amount of likes and comments made it boost in views so that was great for me. And with this video, it was when I started noticing that if I got a little bit more personal with my account, then people would stick around longer, causing me to get more views and more watch time hours. And after that, we have a video where we roast Guan Yu, and this is where I learned a lot more about editing and started editing pictures into my videos through PixArt, and this video got me 1.9 thousand views, CTR is 7.2%, Average view duration is 3 minutes and 14 seconds, audience retention is 43%, and the video is 7.5 minutes long. After that, we have Don't Invest in These Three Commanders. This got me 2,100 views with a CTR of 6.6% and an average view duration of 2 minutes and 15 seconds, with an audience retention rate of 49%. After that, we have Don't Invest in Pakal. I got hate for this one because some people didn't like that I said that he's not in worth investing in and others hated it because they understood it as I was saying that Pakal was awesome and they didn't like that. And so I didn't know what to do or think. I honestly don't know how it was received within the audience so that's when I kind of realized that y'all might just be weird and it's just the nature of talking to a larger amount of people without being able to answer your questions efficiently but that's okay. I don't really care. Also, I know that a lot of the time people are just messing around and they don't really mean the weird or negative comments that they say on my videos. If we met in person, I'm sure that we would all be different. Moving on, we have an infantry equipment guide video, the best one I would argue, and it reached 1000 views, which I'm honestly happy about because it was hard stuck at 750. At the time, it was by far my best video in terms of stats in every way, and out of nowhere, it just flatlined completely. And it did that even though all my stats were great in every way, and I don't have a real understanding as to why that happened. The only thing I can think of is that other people like Chisco and other bigger creators have videos like this that are already successful and probably are better if I'm being honest, so YouTube probably suppressed my video, I think. I don't know, it was weird. After all the research I did, that was the only conclusion I could come up with at the time, but honestly, the video could just be bad or something. Anyways, it got me 1000 views. CTR is 8.8% and an average view duration of 2 minutes and 42 seconds, audience retention 51% now. Then we have an update to my KVK video where I also fix armaments and that's my worst performing recent video with 480 views, 7.3 CTR and an average view duration of 2 minutes and 47 seconds with a 46% audience retention rate. Then Zuj, the artifact king, almost a thousand views, CTR 5%. Two and a half minutes for average view duration with the 40% retention rate, it's okay. Then I tried making a video that was over 10 minutes long in the hopes that YouTube would like that, but I really struggled to talk that much through a video, so it was very low quality I think, more than my other videos, so it got me 950 views, CTR was 6.7% with the three and a half minute average view duration and the retention rate of 35%. Oh well, those four videos made me stumble a little bit because at the time I wasn't sure what I could do next to help me get more watch time hours because it's not that I don't know what to talk about, I just don't know what I can use as footage in the game as I talk through these videos. 
So then I made a video on something I've always wanted to talk about and used all my battle reports in KVK as footage for a video and I just ranted and it was a well received video I think. Anyways, that video was this. It got me 2,500 views, CTR is 9.2% with an average view duration of 2.5 minutes and it ended up with a retention rate of 35%. I really like this video a lot personally, I don't know. The next video is titled Lilith God is Good and that video got me 1,600 views, 8.2% CTR with an average view duration of 2 minutes with a retention rate of 48%. Next, I did a video on Leonidas, 950 views, 6.9% CTR, 1 minute 47 seconds for average view duration, retention rate 50%. After that, I did a short video on how to get free speedups, and at the end of this video, I asked my viewers to watch my other videos in their entirety if they ever have the time, or even if they're not even going to watch them at all, and that helped all my previous videos go higher in views, like when my equipment guide video flatlined at 750 views, but now it's at 1000. I'm so sure it's because of that one video, and my watch time hours also went a lot higher, and I'm so grateful to the ones that do this, so thank you. Same thing goes for the ones who like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Anyways, this video got me 2,500 views. The CTR is 10%, with a 1 minute 15 second average view duration, and this has a retention rate of 64%. This is a short video, and that's why the stats are like that. Then I have a video where I complain about what I can do better with my account other than be an infantry main, and this is where I realize that getting a little bit more personal is where I get subscribers and likes, and I like those videos because I feel like those videos are what helps my channel grow long term, and it helps me realize that I'm not the only one struggling with these issues. And so yeah, this video got me 2100 views, CTR is 9.2% with a 2.5 minute average view duration and a retention rate of 46%. Then I made a video with the thumbnail where I poke fun at cavalry, but the video is about why they probably got nerfed. It's an opinion based video and it got 1300 views with a CTR of 9% and a 2 minute average view duration and a retention rate of 50%. Then this last video is new at the time of this recording so I'm not really going to talk about it. Anyways, yeah guys, those were my stats. I need 300 more subscribers to get monetized, but more important than that. I need like 2,000 more watch time hours still, which is my biggest challenge right now. I don't make long videos because I'm not really good at it. I also want to live stream too, but I record, edit, and play on two phones, and I don't know how to live stream, so I have a lot to learn still. I do want to live stream so bad, I think that would be so much fun, because I'm so monotone in these videos, but I think it's because I just can't sit there, hit record, and then fake some emotions. I think it's so weird that I would just rather not do it to myself in my room. My videos don't really reflect who I am as a person by any means. I'm really dumb and stupid. Y'all truly don't even know, but it's okay. When I get it together, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, if you really want to help me, grab a device or something and play all my videos on that thing. Sometimes what I'll do is right when I'm about to go to work, I'll grab my PS5, put it on YouTube, and I'll put all my videos playing on cue. So even if you're not physically watching them, I'm still accumulating those watch time hours and that average view duration. So that does help me out a lot. And then obviously if you drop a like on the video, if you comment and subscribe, that also does help me out a lot. So thank you to the ones that do that. And I'm War Koopa. That was my YouTube channel. If there's any other questions, maybe I'll answer them in the comments or maybe I'll make another video. But that's it. Later.